Hey guys, this is Mato Monster and 21 here, and today we're gonna be playing some survival together. Finally, I pushed myself finally to do a commentary on uh, my world record. This was my fir first world record that I've gotten on uh, survival mode on Modern Warfare 3. And uh, yeah, this map is from the easy tier category, and in my opinion, it's it is really easy map. It's not that hard. Uh, as you can see, uh, we're gonna be using this building to camp here. I know there's a, a lot more strategies on this map, but I like, I personally like this one because the soldiers don't rush you that much because they there's a lot of cover there, and they can uh, take cover behind the train walls and stuff like that. So they don't even rush you that much. Uh, I suggest having two sentry guns or at least one, but I think that one is enough because almost uh, all of the guys will come from the from this entrance or they're gonna just stand there behind the cover and you can easily uh, take them out which is really good so yeah use uh, sentry in the back use claymores in the back they will help you a lot if there's gonna be someone rushing you from the back because uh, to be honest a pure uh, sort of idea of the survival mode is that you want one uh, the enemy is coming from uh, just one direction only and uh, the place where you want to camp has to be inside or uh, some somewhere where the helicopter can't shoot you uh, especially on the easy on these easy tier maps because uh, there's gonna be helicopter coming uh, almost every round except juggernaut wave if there's juggernaut wave there's gonna be coming Juggernaut with soldiers and dogs. Oh yeah, dogs are very crazy on survival. C4 is it's really crazy. Uh, yep, so they're only mostly coming from this entrance. And when you see a screen popping up like how many enemies there's left, uh, all the soldiers starting to be more aggressive and uh, what usually what they do is they immediately rush you. Now uh, I got rank uh, 1 with this strategy, which, which is the world record. Now I dropped down from the rank, I'm like on 26th place or something like that. I might do it again and uh, I think I figure out uh, how to um, use uh, the devices and uh, sentries some more effective. So I might retry this and uh, bring you a better version of this. Uh, but for now I think it will be okay if I just tell you what I did so uh, usually you want to leave one helicopter and the end of, at the end of the wave so you have enough time to buy the stuff the ammo is very important you need to have uh, new ammo every round from uh, wave 30 you wanna buy it every round uh, my guns my preferred guns on survival mode that I always use on any map are MG36 with grip. Now you can also put, put an optical attachment if you like it, but I really like the iron sights of it, and I don't really need it. So I just put grip on it, and I'm pretty good with it. Uh, my secondary is P90, and the reason why I'm not using the light, the second light machine gun is because the P90 is like the perfect gun in this game. You run fast with it, you have a lot of ammo, the clip size is great, the hip fire is even better and you don't even need steady aim. Uh, slate of hand, I don't even, I don't think I have to explain it. Um, it's pretty much a necessity in the survival and so far the best perk. The thing what sucks about it is that you unlocked it uh, at level 50. Uh, but yeah, that, that building is very very good guys, I suggest to use it. Uh, now what, what is the cycle on these easy tier maps? I'm gonna tell you right now. Uh, so the cycle, uh, which is kind of being repetitive, is uh, at wave 23, where there's gonna be only soldiers coming and uh, the helicopter and at the end of the wave. And now, uh, the cycle consists of four waves. This was uh, the wave number one that I explained, like in the cycle. 
So in wave one, there's of the cycle, there's uh, soldiers and uh, the helicopter coming at the, the end of the round. Uh, next, next wave of the cycle is where the helicopter comes at the start of the round, and uh, it's gonna be a little bit more soldiers, but also dogs. So you really need uh, cover and stuff. Uh, I think uh, the third wave of the cycle is probably the the hardest because there's a lot more soldiers, uh, also dogs and the helicopter at the start of the wave. In the fourth wave of the cycle, the final one is uh, basically the juggernaut wave. Uh, there's luckily there's not uh, also helicopters coming uh, with jug with jugs. So uh, on the on the jug wave, you you don't want to camp. You want to run around the map. And uh, what I do usually, and what I'm gonna explain you and show you in this gameplay also is how to run uh, the juggernauts on this map. Now, uh, you wanna find a place where you can start the juggernaut wave, and you have to figure out uh, where the enemies uh, are spawning, and uh, you wanna take the route where they're gonna group up like in zombies. So basically you create a, a train, zombie train from Black Ops, if you want to call it like that. Yeah, just, uh, this wave uh, 49 is uh, it's pretty hard because there's a lot of soldiers. It's the third wave of the cycle, as I said. And I don't usually buy body armor at, uh, on each wave. I prefer to buy it only on Jug Wave, but since I was uh, close to world record, I didn't want to risk it. And uh, if you're really that high and you're just uh, a few spots about the world re uh, to beat the world record, you want to waste all the money that you have. And <laughs> uh, you. I really want to take it careful and didn't want to fail, so that's why I buy the body armor. Otherwise, I buy it only on Jug Wave. And also, it saves you money if you don't buy it. Alright, uh, now we can move uh, to the Juggernaut Wave. Alright, so you want to start uh, here in the center of the map, uh, in this building. And uh, now I suggest wait a couple seconds, like two or three seconds. Make sure to have body armor uh, at the start of each jug wave. In this uh, in this map, you don't really need armor even on jug wave because it's pretty easy to run the jug wave on this map. But on the other maps, I suggest to buy the armor for sure. And uh, you wanna drop down from that building and uh, come around the grenade lamp armory and to the right. And in, on each juggernaut wave, of, or if there's are any dogs on the map, there's gonna be maximum of four dogs. Uh, you wanna pa run past three or sentries and uh, first kill the dogs. Kill the freaking dogs. <laughs> they're they're following you. They're so annoying, and if they grab you in the middle of the all the enemies, even if you have self revive, uh, it's not gonna help you because you're gonna get surrounded by juggernauts and all the soldiers. And even if you manage to kill one of them, you're not gonna you're not gonna survive, man. So kill the freaking dogs first. After you kill the dogs, uh, you wanna use. Uh, the surroundings to your advantage, like uh, stay behind the corners to shoot uh, enemies a little bit, and uh, also an airstrike is a really good idea to buy on Juggernaut Wave because they're really effective. I don't find the uh, Predator missile that much useful in the survival mode. I just go in town with airstrike, and it, it's working pretty good for me, I have to say. Uh, so it's probably the safest way to uh, kill the Juggernaut with uh, Airstrike. Or you can also use uh, C-Force, they're more expensive and less effective than the Airstrikes, but uh, you pretty much always hit your target with C-Force. Uh, with Airstrike it can be tricky sometimes because 
Uh, it can also hit a building. Uh, now you can also use uh, cars to your advantage on this map because if there are any windows uh, that you can see from on the cars, you can easily shoot jugs and the juggernauts can't see you uh, from those windows. Uh, they see it like a solid object, they don't really see you so if there is a car and uh, there, there are any windows on that car, even the, if they're broken, the juggernauts won't see you. But you can see them and shoot them from there, if you don't have airstrike. Uh, also, never try to throw C4s if someone's shooting at you, because you're gonna get... Uh, you're gonna get screwed. Instantly. And if it's Juggernaut in front of you, you're gonna die, no matter what, even if you have self revive. <laughs> I died so many times, by uh, just because some of the soldiers shot my C4. Uh, now, I can show you how I died here. It's basically because I was... Uh, I thought I could use, uh, I could run with sentry gun, so I, I was a dumbass a little bit and wanted to grab my sentry gun but there was a dog and I have a bunch of claymores here and one dog claymore, uh, triggered the claymore train and it, w it just all blew up and screwed me up and I was even surrounded by, by soldiers and I thought, I think there was also a juggernaut coming so uh, I got pretty screwed there, but nonetheless, it was the world record, guys. Uh, hopefully, you found this strategy useful, and thank you very much for watching. And this has been Mario Master, and I'm out. See ya!